I want you to set realistic push goals. Number two, I want you to practice some self-compassion. Y'all, I spoke about self-compassion on one of my last podcasts, right? And I believe that <laughs> you can, you have to give yourself that. I call it grace and mercy, right? Um, God gives us grace and mercy to be human beings, but we don't give ourselves grace and mercy to be human beings. I mean, we pushing ourselves to the brink of death <laughs> before we say, okay, I surrender this ain't gonna, this ain't working out. And I always ask people, I'm like, okay, you're in this bad situation right now. You got this unrealistic goal over here. How is that actually working out for you? How is that serving you? And a lot of the answer I get is, it's not. And I'm like, okay, what options do you now have available to you now that you know that this thing is not serving you well? And that's when we can get into the nitty gritty of what all the options are available. Because let me just say this, there's always another way. There's always another way. That is one of my mottos. There's always another way. There's always another option available to you. But when we are rigid in our thought processes of unrealistic goals, we can't think of another way because we don't give ourselves the latitude or the flexibility to do so. But there is always another way. It's just up to you to be open enough to figure out what that way is. And so the last thing I want to say to you, because we are in Mental Health Awareness Month, and y'all know how big I am on self-care, is when it comes to this you have to really practice self-care. Here's why I think that this is so true. And part of self-care is getting therapy. Ooh, I think that we are over um, a lot of people having a lot of stigma around therapy because, I mean, it's so needed. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm also in the professional world where a lot of people will still get therapy and still get coaching. And so I'm, I'm um, happy about that. But when I say practice self-care in the turn in the in the result of getting therapy or coaching is so important because here's the thing when you do not have somebody else who is knowledgeable, first of all, right? I ain't talking about your mom and them, right? I ain't talking about your girlfriend who went through the same thing you went through and still in a bad situation. No, I ain't talking about her. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm talking about a licensed and trained professional to do this job. So I'm not going to be in the session telling you what to do. I'm going to help you get to your answers. That's coaching, right? This is a form of self-care because here's why this is important. If you do not have somebody who is knowledgeable and, and qualified to help you through hard times, then most of the time what I'm seeing is people are struggling. People are, y'all out here struggling big time. You are suffering from depression, anxiety. You're burning out. You know, the suicide rate has never been higher. Like it is bad. It is bad. And we all need somebody to walk through this life with like a therapist or a coach. You need this in your life because walking through these problems and these unrealistic expectations, when you don't have nobody to, to thought process with, it is difficult. 